What's up everybody, it's James again, and today I got a pretty sweet video for you guys because I have a package, and it's from Kazakhstan, actually. So, um, I now own a Dreamcast USB adapter, which I just got in the mail yesterday and I hooked it up, and it's pretty sweet. So I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up the Dreamcast USB adapter from M. Nemo. This is the version 5 with the internal USB. And the reason why I'm going to make a tutorial video is because there's not really much directions that came with my units. So I figured I'll make a video and maybe sometime somewhere it'll help somebody. So this video is going to assume you've already installed the unit in the Dreamcast, which I'm not going to really film because there's already a great video online about that and I'll link that in the description. So let's get started. Okay, so setting up the USB stick for the USB GD-ROM adapter is actually really easy. So at this point, you should have already plugged in your USB stick. And what you want to do is first go to MNEMO's website, which is this site right here. As you can see, 3do-renovation.ru, and um, you could just you know Google MNEMO Dreamcast USB and you'll find this. So here's some specific information. Uh, you want to use FAT32 for USB stick, which is fine because you're not going to run into any files that are bigger than three and a half gigs, so you're not going to hit that file limit issue. So what you want to do is you want to download rootinit.rar, which is what I used. Rootinit.rar or rootinit2.rar, sorry, is uh, just another option. I not I have not used it, so I'm not sure what the difference is. And if you're USB adapter is outdated, you can download the latest firmware. Now, upon receiving my adapter, I already had the latest firmware, so it's okay for me. I didn't actually need to use this, but I downloaded it anyway. So you go ahead and just download this, you get a RAR file, and now I've already downloaded these. So this was that firmware update, which is just this binary here, but I didn't need to use that because According to the timestamps, the firmware that's actually on my device when I got it is newer than this, which is kind of odd. And then rootinit.rar, just to go inside, is pretty much, these are all empty folders. So Nemo, you know, kindly just made these folders so that you can start sorting your games and not just have to create new folders everywhere. This is the important file, this launch, launch dashboard.iso. This is what's going to actually give you a menu when you turn the, uh, the adapter on. So what you want to do is, I already have my USB stick open here. So I've already formatted mine. Okay, so here is my USB stick. And as you can see, my folder structure is a little different than what you saw in the root init RAR. Because this is just how I like to um, kind of sort my games, because I don't have many on here because it's a small USB stick. So I just have my games, my homebrew, which for homebrew I just have the Dream Explorer and the Shenmue Save Converter. Uh, then you have the launch dashboard.iso. This is the important file. This needs to be here in the root directory, whereas the folders are arbitrary. Um, the launch dashboard.iso is pretty much what gives you a menu when you turn it on. So you do want the USB stick to be formatted to FAT32. Um, you can do that in you know Windows, Linux, Macintosh, OS X, doesn't matter. Windows, you just right click this, hit format, make sure it's FAT32. You can do a quick format if you want to, although I highly recommend you do a full format so you get a fresh file system. So once you actually have the contents of the root in it, uh, in the root directory of your USB device, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you have the launch dashboard file on the root directory, and then the you know folders themselves are arbitrary. Just see games. I have some games here, some CDI files. Then here I have the GDI of Shenmue 2. So I own all these games. Don't worry, guys. Uh, so yep, yeah, that's about it. That's really all you need to do. At this point, you can eject the USB. Of course, this freaking thing gets in the way every time. I have to format my windows because it looks like crap. Well, in this case, I'm just going to rip it out. But yeah, so rip out the USB, make sure you eject it properly, and then you can go and put it in the Dreamcast. So if you want, follow me to the Dreamcast. Okay, so now you just want to put your USB stick into the USB adapter, 
Uh, don't mind how dirty this Dreamcast is. I'm going to clean it. I just haven't cleaned it yet. <laughs> just a little bit of grime, whatever. Um, this is actually a Dreamcast that was donated to me, which has a, a broken drive, so I just wound up putting the USB adapter in here. The inside is all nice and clean, but just this case looks like crap. So, you just gotta put it in, which uh, it's kind of hard to do when you're holding the, uh, the camera here. Okay, USB is nice and tightly secured, and we'll turn it on real quick. So we just get a normal startup here. The battery is dead in the controller, so hit play. And assuming you have the USB stick set up correctly, you should be fine from here on. You'll get the normal Dreamcast boot. You'll get the produced under license from Sega, which is not true. And there you go. That's it. So as you can see, the structure here matches what I had. And so we just go to games, we do like whatever, I have my explore mod, 99 minute English Shenmue 2. Oh yeah, by the way, this works with the oversized CDIs, so you can actually play Shenmue 2 in like full English, like high quality English, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's really about it. The only thing I didn't cover in this video is actually soldering the uh, wire for the USB adapter to the drive door so that you can have the disc swapping. But to be honest, I'm not going to use that because I don't need to. It's not required for, you know, the games that I play. So I'm just not going to cover it. So anyway, that's pretty much it. If you guys get one of these, you know, enjoy it. It's actually really cool. I got mine directly from Nemo. However, I believe Stone Age Gamer is going to be selling these uh, in mass. I believe they, are, they already took pre-orders for it and they're backed up already. But yeah, so I got mine directly from Nemo. You know, no, uh, no issues there. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. I love each and every one of you. Happy hacking, and as always, have a nice day.